Hey everyone, before we get started, please subscribe. Love your support. Thank you so much. This is just another video of me getting into the works with another canvas painting. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually mapping out where I want to put tape over the wood to protect the wood. I don't want to get paint on every part of the wood in the canvas. So what I'm doing is, is I'm cutting it out and making sure that those lines are protected. What I'm doing right now is actually putting gesso, and this is a clear gesso that I'm using, and actually going over the outline of my koi fish that I'm about to paint. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just extracting the parts, once again, that I do not want to get paint on. So where I want to get paint on is just the fish. So I'm protecting everything else. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually applying a uh, white and blue paint to make sure that I'm staying within and how I want the designs to come out with the fish and the koi fish. So little by little, I'm just putting layers and layers together. And as I'm doing now, I'm taking a palette knife and using different colors such as pinks, yellows, golds, and oranges to make the, the scales of the fish look as best as possible. And of course, with my graffiti style, giving it a nice abstract look, now I took all the other parts of the tape out in order to paint, and now I covered the fish. And what I'm doing here is a little weird, but sometimes with the lines that I set out in place with my design, you cannot see it with the light that's in the room. So what I had to do was get like a black light to try to figure that out, but I got it figured out. And then here, I the koi fish is completely covered, and now I'm going over the painting with this turquoise blue paint that I got in order for me to continue the design that I'm going for. I am working on the subject's eye, as you can see here, maybe, maybe not, but I'm going through the process of just trying to stay within those lines and, and, and almost trying to figure out where I want my shading to be with those lines that you see above and underneath the eye. Here are some paint splatters that are just going all over the canvas so it doesn't get on the fish and that's why I covered it. I uncovered the fish, but I left the other strips still covered because I still don't want any airbrushing or paint to get on that on those strips, on those green strips that you see next there to the fin. And here I'm airbrushing as you can see, and I'm just going through the motions of just shading the fish. To be honest, I thought I shaded the fish a little too hard on this part. And that's why when you're airbrushing, make sure you go within the light side first and work your way up. Because if you go too dark, it's almost impossible to go back. So make sure that you go light to dark and just try to figure that out as you move forward. So you got to be patient. So with the subject right now, I'm working on the subject's neck and the chin area. And this part was a little process and the reason why was because I had to make sure that I was patient because if you're not patient while doing this part you it's almost impossible to go back especially how I wanted to construct this painting so if you do have some errors which there will be just make them minor and not major and right now I am looking and trying to detail the eye as best as possible and I'm doing the cheekbones right now going back to the eye so when you see me paint sometimes, I like to jump around the canvas. And the reason why is because I get bored of working on the same piece or I get distracted. But this is me just trying to get the eye as best as detailed as I possibly can in the face and just jumping back and forth, constantly stepping back and stepping into the painting, making sure that I'm liking it. And this is me working on the hair and getting it all smooth and just how I wanted with the flow of it. And then this is how it turned out. Once again, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support and love.